In the heart of West Virginia lies a village called Odd, where the Whitaker family has become one of the most well-known yet misunderstood families in America. The Whitakers have faced life's challenges with remarkable grace and joy, earning admiration for their caring and honest nature. Living 75 miles from Charleston, the family story is one of struggle and survival, marked by a history of inbreeding that has left some members with devastating genetic defects. Photographer Mark Leita, moved by their challenging living conditions and complex history of inbreeding, has embarked on a mission to raise $250,000 through a GoFundMe campaign to secure a new home for this resilient family. But how did it all start and what led the photographer, Mark, to the corners of West Virginia to meet the family? Mark Lita. Mark, known for his work on the YouTube channel Soft White Underbelly, first encountered the Whitaker family during a documentary project in 2020. The project shed light on their day-to-day -day lives and heritage, capturing the essence of a family that communicates not only through words and sign language, but also through grunts and barks. What is it? <laughs> this particular expedition unfolded during the creation of his book, Create Equal, adding a layer of purpose to his exploration. In the rugged expanse of the Appalachian Mountains, Mark, with a keen eye for capturing the essence of human experiences, set forth on a transformative journey. Little did he know that this journey would guide him to the secluded corners of West Virginia, where the extraordinary history of the Whitaker family awaited discovery against the challenging landscapes of the region. These were not the well-traveled or easily accessible areas, but rather the hidden pockets that carried stories waiting to be told. The remoteness of the location hinted at the potential for encounters with narratives that had been shielded from the mainstream gaze. As Mark traversed the challenging landscapes of West Virginia, he stumbled upon the Whitaker family. This encounter marked a pivotal moment in his journey as the lives and history of the Whitakers promised to be nothing short of extraordinary. Embarking on a sweeping photographic expedition, Mark, accompanied by his dedicated assistant, Axel, embarked on a journey that spanned the lower 48 states of the United States. Their mission was clear, to seek out and document narratives that captivated the human spirit. The duo crisscrossed the diverse landscapes of the nation driven by a shared passion for storytelling through the lens. It was in the heart of West Virginia that fate, in its unpredictable manner, intervened in Mark's journey. The duo found themselves in a state rich in both natural beauty and untold stories. Here, a local cop, intimately acquainted with the intricate tales woven into the fabric of Raleigh County, emerged as an unexpected guide. This law enforcement officer, a guardian of the community's stories, became the catalyst for a remarkable chapter in Mark's photographic adventure. This local cop, a figure well-versed in the narratives that unfolded within the borders of Raleigh County, became an invaluable ally to Mark. His intimate knowledge of the local terrain, coupled with a deep understanding of the community, positioned him as the perfect guide for Mark's quest. The cop's role extended beyond traditional law enforcement. He became a storyteller, connecting Mark to the hidden tales that lay beneath the surface of West Virginia. Guided by the local cop, Mark's lens turned towards the Whitaker family. Nestled in the heart of West Virginia, this group embodied a life that remained untouched by the conveniences and norms of modern society. The Whitaker family, introduced by the cop, lived in a realm seemingly immune to the rapid changes of contemporary life. Their existence hinted at a way of living that diverged from modern norms, and Mark found himself on the brink of documenting a story that transcended the ordinary. This was not the first time humanity ever got acquainted with inbred families. In fact, inbreeding practices have been going on in the world as far as we can ponder. One of the most notorious historical examples of the consequences of inbreeding is the House of Habsburg, a European royal family that controlled vast territories for centuries. The Habsburgs practiced intermarriage to consolidate power and wealth, leading to a high degree of inbreeding. This resulted in numerous health issues among family members, including infertility, jaw malformations, and mental disabilities. 
often referred to as the Bewitched or the Mad. Charles II of Spain was a direct descendant of the Habsburgs. His reign, marked by physical and mental health problems, serves as an example of the perils of inbreeding. Charles II suffered from severe physical deformities, including a prominent jaw and an elongated head, along with cognitive impairments that hindered his ability to rule effectively. In more recent history, even the British royal family faced scrutiny for its practices of intermarriage, particularly during the reign of Queen Victoria. The Queen's grandchildren married into various European royal houses, leading to a web of familial relationships. While the British royal family has taken steps to broaden its gene pool through marriages with non-royals, the historical intermingling of closely related individuals raised concerns about the potential for genetic disorders. But how and why did this incident transcend borders not yet discovered? And why is it so looked down upon? Inbreeding The practice of mating closely related individuals carries significant risks and has long been recognized as detrimental to both human and animal populations. From a scientific standpoint, inbreeding increases the likelihood of genetic disorders, reduces genetic diversity, and compromises overall population health. This phenomenon, prevalent in various species, including humans, has historical implications and notable cases that underscore the importance of understanding and addressing the consequences of inbreeding. Genetic Consequences At its core, inbreeding leads to a higher probability of offspring inheriting identical alleles from both parents. This is problematic because it increases the likelihood of expressing recessive alleles that may carry harmful genetic mutations. In a genetically diverse population, Harmful alleles are often masked by the presence of healthy alleles from the other parent. However, in an inbred population, these harmful alleles become more prominent, leading to an increased incidence of genetic disorders. One of the most well-known genetic consequences of inbreeding is autosomal recessive disorders. These disorders manifest when an individual inherits two copies of a defective gene, one from each parent. The risk of this occurring significantly rises in inbred populations where close relatives share a higher percentage of their genetic material. Genetic diversity is crucial for the adaptation and survival of populations. Inbreeding reduces genetic diversity as it limits the number of unique alleles present in a population. This limitation becomes particularly concerning when external environmental factors change, as a lack of genetic diversity hampers the population's ability to adapt to new conditions. In the long term, reduced genetic diversity increases vulnerability to diseases, decreases reproductive fitness, and heightens the risk of extinction. Natural selection relies on genetic diversity to weed out harmful mutations and promote the survival of advantageous traits. Inbreeding disrupts this delicate balance, making populations more susceptible to the negative effects of genetic disorders and environmental stressors. In contemporary society, while the prevalence of widespread inbreeding has diminished, isolated cases still occur, often in small, insular communities. Advancements in genetic research have enabled scientists to identify specific genes associated with inherited disorders. This knowledge allows for informed decisions and interventions to prevent the transmission of harmful genetic mutations. Genetic counseling has become an essential tool for individuals with a family history of genetic disorders, helping them make informed choices about family planning. Even with all of this knowledge available, Mark encountered the Whitaker family which has been away from all media till now. If you're liking our video so far, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. The Whitaker Family As Mark descended into the heart of Appalachia, the rugged landscapes unfolded, and amidst the untamed wilderness, the Whitaker family materialized like a mirage. The very essence of their existence seemed like an apparition, a unique chapter waiting to be uncovered in the vast expanse of nature. This marked a pivotal moment in Mark's journey, as the Whitakers became the focal point of an encounter that defied conventional expectations. The roots of the Whitaker family's inbreeding can be traced back to identical twin brothers, Henry and John. Their children intermarried, 
leading to a complicated web of relationships. John Ism Whitaker, born in 1882, married his first cousin, Ada Rigg, and together they had nine children, including Gracie Irene Whitaker. Gracie, in turn, married her double cousin, John Emery Whitaker, and the cycle continued with 15 children. Tragically, many of the Whitaker children were born with severe physical and mental impairments, believed to be a result of the inbreeding within the family. Eileen, the eldest, succumbed to a heart attack in June 1997, and Emery, the oldest son, passed away a month after birth in 1938 due to pneumonia. Betty, born in 1952, emerged as the head of the family, promising her mother that she would not marry so she could care for her 14 siblings. Mark's lens captured the daily lives of Ray and Lorraine, two family members seemingly unable to communicate through words, relying on grunts, barks, and movements. Despite their unique means of expression, the family exhibits a profound understanding of each other. The documentary highlighted the challenges the Whitaker family faced, including the birth of Lorraine's son, Timmy, in 1979, a result of sexual abuse from an unidentified man. Timmy, the only member of the family to graduate from high school, represents a beacon of hope amid the hardships. Describing his first encounter with the Whitakers, Mark recalled the surreal experience of arriving at their home in Odd. The family members, their eyes wandering in different directions, communicated through barks and grunts. The eccentric behavior was unpredictable, with one family member screaming and running off, pants falling around his ankles, to kick a garbage can. <laughs> it was a sight that left a lasting impact on Mark, describing it as the craziest thing he had ever witnessed. The Whitaker family, residing in a small shack, is not only grappling with their unique communication challenges, but also facing prejudice from the community. Mark shared that the family is protected by neighbors and relatives who are wary of strangers seeking to ridicule them. Now, we wouldn't have known about this family at all if it wasn't for the cop who wanted Mark to use video cameras instead of still photography. Video footage. The local cop's frustration, stemming from Mark's initial reliance on still photography, evolved into an unexpected catalyst for self-discovery. Recognizing the limitations of capturing the Whitaker's intricate story through static images alone, the cop urged to shift towards a more dynamic medium, video footage. This frustration became the impetus for Mark to explore storytelling in a new dimension, pushing him beyond his comfort zone in traditional methods. The adoption of video cameras marked a significant juncture in Mark's journey. This shift from still photography to video footage transformed the narrative from frozen moments to a dynamic chronicle of the Whitaker family's life. Video became a crucial medium, allowing Mark to capture the fluidity of their interactions, the subtleties of emotions, and the nuanced aspect of their existence that couldn't be encapsulated in a single frame. Video footage became a powerful tool for documenting not only the Whitakers' living conditions, but also the intricacies of their daily interactions. The camera, now in motion, could traverse the spaces they inhabited, revealing details that might be overlooked in still images. It captured the ephemerality of life, presenting a more holistic portrayal of the family's experiences, struggles, and moments of joy. The dynamic nature of video allowed Mark to delve deeper into the Whitaker's world. It wasn't just about capturing moments frozen in time, it was about unfolding a narrative that breathed, moved, and evolved. Video footage became a medium that went beyond the constraints of still photography, offering a more immersive and profound depiction of the Whitaker story. The transition to video allowed Mark to connect with the Whitakers on a more profound and intimate level. The moving images captured not only the visible aspects of their lives, but also the intangible elements, the echoes of their voices, the dynamic of their relationships, and the unspoken emotions that animated their existence. It brought a richness to the narrative that transcended the boundaries of traditional storytelling. Mark faced unexpected rejection while attempting to photograph the Whitaker family during a period of mourning. Instead of pushing further, he empathetically respected their need for privacy. This setback became a turning point, leading Mark to extend an olive branch by offering 8x10 Polaroid prints to the family. This gesture went beyond traditional photography dynamics, 
recognizing the Whitakers as individuals with emotions and stories. The prints became tangible expressions of shared humanity, emphasizing that their lives were integral to the narrative. Mark's empathetic response transformed the encounter into a nuanced and respectful exploration of the Whitaker's humanity. Lessons Learned As Mark bid farewell to West Virginia, he didn't just carry a collection of images, he carried with him a profound lesson in humility, adaptability, and the enduring resilience of the human spirit. The Whitaker family story, imprinted in pixels and grains, transcended the realm of mere photographs. It became a powerful testament to the extraordinary tales concealed in the most unexpected corners of our world. Narratives that often elude the common gaze but hold immense significance in the tapestry of human existence. The unbelievable history woven between Mark and the Whitaker family went beyond the confines of a traditional photographic exploration. It became a testament to the transformative power of storytelling. The encounters, frustrations, moments of rejection, and empathetic connections contributed to a narrative that resonated on a profound level. This history symbolized a fusion of two worlds, Mark's artistic pursuit and the Whitaker's unconventional existence, creating a story that surpassed the limits of a photographic frame. At its core, Mark's journey into the heart of West Virginia and the unbelievable history with the Whitaker family encapsulated the transformative power of storytelling. It was a narrative that challenged norms, prompted self-discovery, and urged a reevaluation of societal benchmarks. The Whitaker family, with their resilience and unconventionality, became conduits for a broader message. The storytelling, when embraced with openness and adaptability, has the potential to transform perspectives and connect people across the diverse landscapes of the human experience. So what are your thoughts on all of this? Let us know in the comments section down below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching everybody, we'll see you next time.